Remember how you used to frame suspended drywall ceilings? Only 300 square feet of production per man day? Then came along drywall grid with main runners and four foot cross tees. Much better with upwards of a thousand square feet production per man day. What if we took the four foot on center main runners and pushed them out two feet so the main runners are actually on six foot centers? Immediately, you would use one third less main runners and one third less hanger wires. What's one hanger wire cost? Or if you have to build any trapezes due to four foot on center mains, what do they cost? Notice that a four foot T system will carry 7.03 pounds per square foot with your T's 16 inches on center. Now that's overkill if you only need to carry one layer of 5 8 inch drywall. With main runners six feet apart and six foot cross T's, you still carry 4.6 pounds a square foot with your T's on 16 inch centers. Now let's take a walk through a recent condo project where mains and six foot cross tees frame all the hard lids, soffits, and even support the resilient channel. Here, mains mounted up tight run left to right, six foot on center, with perpendicular six foot cross tees. Resilient channel by others is screw attached on 24 inch centers parallel to the main runners. A bucket of our uptight clips make attaching mains uptight to structure a breeze. We are now walking through the entryway of our condo unit. Immediately, you see a main runner with six foot tees. Also look at the six foot tees by themselves spanning across the hallway. As we enter the kitchen area, you see a suspended main with full and cut six foot tees. Also, the soffit over the cabinets is hung by dropping vertical tees wild from cam angle at the deck, then joining by cam angle at the 90 and returning horizontally to the wall. Check this out where we now fur up with cut drywall tees to another living area with uptight mains to structure, cross tees, and resilient channel. Always run resilient channel parallel to the main runners and perpendicular to the cross tees. Turning back, you can now see all three levels of the installation with just drywall mains, six foot cross tees, and cam angle. Here's a close up of the cabinet soffit you just saw. Soffits are a natural extension as T scrap is perfect for their construction. Just hang the verticals wild from cam and return to the wall studs. This good sized bedroom has just two main runners six feet apart and only four hanger wires for the whole room. Now, let's do the math on using mains and six foot cross tees for hotels and condos. Suppose first you have a project with a modest 20,000 square feet of drywall hard lids. If you are using mains and four foot cross tees, that's 20,200 lineal feet of grid that you will need. If you use six foot tees instead, you immediately eliminate 2,000 lineal feet of grid. That could be around 800 to $1,000 of material savings alone. You also go from 139 cartons of grid to just 94 cartons. Now your installers will certainly appreciate that. 